What is going on, everybody? My name is Japes. Welcome back to another episode in my path to power. Before we get into the episode, if you guys are looking to pick up any MSP or PSN cards, make sure to check out thegamekeys.co.uk. Or if FIFA coins are more your thing, check out justfifacoins.com. You can use the code Japes to get yourself a 5% discount on their instant delivery. So we've got the same 433 false nine variation squad that we were using before. We were successful in winning the team of the year cup the first time around so i thought hey let's go in and have at it again so that's what we're going to be doing here this guy really really nice looking squad first time i'm going to be coming up against that second in form alexis sanchez so i was eagerly waiting to see if he uh if he would be everything that i imagined he might be because he is one of those cards that i am i'm eyeing him up and I'm eyeing him up for a series that I'm going to be doing with some YouTubers. It's going to be coming up yet again. So it's going to be round two for me in that certain series that will be named uh, a very, very, well, thing that you guys are probably super familiar with. But I'm just not going to say that word because I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it at this point. So away we go, though. 1-0. Uh, good start to this one. And we're playing kind of on the break. But it's a lovely pass from Gale, Bale to find Uzzel. And Uzzel lives the chip life. But Andre Schurler says... You know what? Uh, that's mine. And if I was Uzzle, and I, you know, I did chip it with Uzzle. I was like, this is a beautiful chip. Look at it. It's brilliant. It's tucking in. And look at Andre Shirley. He's like, look at me, coach. I did it. Look at me, mom and dad. I've scored a goal. And I was, uh, Andre, please. Andre, please. It was, uh... It was a little disappointing to say to say the least, but a lovely over the top through ball from Eddie Benashia finds Bale, and Bale is just he's just next level. I uh, I do not know what to say beyond that. This is the first time that I've ever played a significant amount of games with Gareth. Um, he's not one of those players that I ever really targeted on my main account, uh, largely just because I've had Ari and Robin after Ari and Robin and. Robin is a fantastic player as well. He fills out that right side, no problem. So, uh, luckily enough, though, we packed Bale, and that's a brilliant pass from Cruz to find his midfield maestro uh, teammate in Fabregas right there. The two of them are really box-to-box -box and perfect for this formation. They get up, they get back, their passing is brilliant, their shooting is good enough, they get into good spots, they play defense well enough as well that you really have nothing to complain about, and that's Gareth just doing a good bit of work. A lot of left bumper, left trigger dribbling is what I'm doing there, kind of spinning around, and you're just thinking of it as spinning the left stick away from whatever side the guy is trying to make the tackle from. Um, that is the best way that I can describe that. So we are headed on in. To talk about a few of the other players or highlight some of the other players on this team, I talked about Ezel before, and Ezel has been brilliant for us, but another player that I would say is the best budget left back that I have used so far is obviously Mar Moreno from Liverpool. Um, he is an absolutely brilliant player, and I am shocked you don't see him in more squads. He His ball control is good. His passing is good. His pace is good. His defending and his physical are good enough as well, and he ends up in really good spots. He helps out in the attack. He gets back, tracks back well, doesn't really get beat too often down that side. And of course, he's got the pace to recover if he does get beat. So I would highly, highly recommend him. Not to mention, he's got some really, really good links to, uh, well, to Fabregas, obviously. But you can link him to Mata or any of the other Spanish players or Liverpool players as well. Gerard or, um, I don't know, whoever you're, whoever you're eyeing up for. Uh, players on the left or players down the middle. That's a nice finish from Andre Scherler. Four minutes into this one, we're already up 1-0. And this guy was not going to be having too much fun. Gives away the ball in a terrible spot. Dives in. It's Gareth running the break for us yet again. Cruz stole it. Cruz gets it back. And he rifles it into the corner. Might have caught a little bit of that top net. The best net right there in the ninth minute. This one is getting out of hand and fast. You can see he's just playing hopeful through balls to Sturridge. Is really was basically his game plan but it's Moreno playing it inside. Fonz Mezzet Ozil, nice bit of passing here. Uh, pretty much one touch, and it's Schurler trying to get free. Doesn't get quite enough to squeeze by, but Clichy gives it away. Him trying to just rush it forward with an A pass. He didn't need to do it, and nice bit of passing eventually. It makes its way to Gareth Bale in the box. Easy finish for him uh, on that one. The left-footed drive at the near post. Going to make that one 3-0 now going into the half, and he has had enough. This is very much a rage quit squad. Uh, because we have seen a lot of rage quits recently. 
And uh, going through the goals here real quick, we had Andre Schurla uh, just a minute ago. Gareth Bale scored eight, two assists. Ozil, six goals, four assists. Fabregas, three and three, really nice. Cruz, one and four. So they're basically keeping level on statistics in my mind. Lom's got one assist, and I think Carvajal had an assist as well. But that was pretty standard the way it was. I promised I'd show you that, so I thought we'd check it out. And look, because this has been a very, very good squad that not only performs well, but is very, very much fun to play with. And I would I would be confident taking this squad in against the big boys now. From time to time, I will have a mental lapse. And I tweeted out, too, that I do not like playing against the 4-3-1-2 or 4-1-2-1-2 formations because I think they are a bit of a crutch for mediocre-ish players to kind of up their game. And this is me not paying attention from the start, switching late, and getting scored on in under one minute. That is M embarrassing to say the least but the uh, formation it's essentially you just throw through ball after through ball and hope for the best hope the defender is going to take a bad touch or something and if you throw enough of them undoubtedly if your players are pacing enough up front you're going to get away with it and that was this guy's game plan so it made for a very very annoying game because it ping pong passed through the midfield all the way to the front and then boom lby hope for the best speaking of lby as we play one out wide gareth and I'm just so confident in my ability to take players on with him. The answer almost instantly after, well, just seven minutes after that first goal and a lovely finish into the far corner. We're going to watch that back one more time. He scores crucial goals at crucial times. I cannot say enough about that. Um, he's one of the few players that I've played with this year on Ultimate Team where he has the knack for for coming up big in big games for me or in tough matches where I'm struggling a little bit and I need I need a player to turn up in the right spot or get a little fortunate. And you can see right there, could have lost it with another player maybe, but he retained possession. It's just a brilliant finish. I make a mistake right here. I should have just canceled it. I'll let my keeper uh, catch it because it really wasn't a threatening free kick at all. And it falls to Tony Cruz off of a loose ball and a poor clearance. But speaking of poor set piece decisions, he makes one right there and we are on the break. Andre Schurle, I didn't really want to force it. So we end up playing a pass over to Fabregas inside to Ozil, the weaker right footed finesse shot. How about that? Nice little clinical finish from Mazout, making it 2-2 now in the 29th minute. So a lot of goals in this one and very, very early. You can see how narrow his formation is, how congested it is. And I knew that playing through the wings was really going to be the only, well, the main opportunity. Or if I could find Ozil in between his CMs and his center backs, that would be a good spot. And here we go. Ozil picks it up in a nice spot. Unfortunate right there. But Cruz puts in a good tackle, finds Ozil yet again. And there's a finish shot with his left foot. That is the easiest finish you are going to get on FIFA. Thank goodness I have not had any of those brutal misses that I had the other day. Uh, my finishing boots are somewhat back on. So that one does come to a close at 3-2 to two in the uh, at the final whistle. So you can see that was, uh, he ended up with two shots, two goals. And, you know, sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. A lot of club maintenance, though, because a lot of our players were first owners. We thought we picked up a few good deals. Their prices are going down yet again. And I maybe should have been a little bit more disciplined about it. But uh, nonetheless, the squad is making coins for me left and right, winning, you know, if I can win this cup again, this guy was good. So his his squad name is Benya Over, and this is a formation I struggle against from time to time as well. I thought Shinji was a weird inclusion right there, uh, especially with, uh, that's going to be Robin playing on 7 chem, but going in at the half, I'm going to show you how fortunate I was not to concede. While I did have possession, he had a lot of shots in very, very good areas, and I kind of looked looked at myself in the uh, I've got a wall in my apartment that's next to kind of where my setup is and it's it's all mirrors it's a, it's kind of an older apartment but I looked over and I was like James you got to get it together brother you're better than this and Gareth Bale slides inside in a tough game scores a fantastic goal again cutting inside onto his left into the far corner he comes up big for us time and time again if you're thinking about getting him for a squad Buy him now while prices are low and people are buying loads and loads of packs for team of the year. I highly, highly recommend him. Now you're going to get the question, Japes, is Bale better than Robin? And that is a that is something I'd have to think a little bit more closely about because it's not the same personnel. I could slot Robin into this team very, very easily, but... Uh, by just changing Robin using Schweinsteiger, and then I'd probably just play Alaba at 
uh, at right back. I do that all the time. It's like, what's the difference between a seven chem striker and a seven chem, you know, right back? There really is no difference. But you can see Ozil, first time fake shot back the way I came. And that is something that I would definitely add to your arsenal of skills in the box. That first time we've used it to turn and create space, but this is another way. It's you. He expects me to turn over because that's where it looks like the space is going to be. So I caught him guessing a little bit. Now it's 2 nil, 71st minute. And he, you can see the frustration because he's trying to go straight forward and it's not a good choice and this is going to be one of the most fantastic volleys I've ever hit. Ozil fantastic right footed and boom an absolute thunderbolt right into the back of the net. Andre Schurler take a freaking bow. That is going to be without a doubt the goal of the episode and I was Oh man, I was flushed. I was peached. I was smiling. I almost started dancing after that goal. It was just a brilliant, brilliant strike and one that is worthy of all three replays. I tweeted it out when I scored it, said, oh my, the goal I just scored because it kind of caught me off guard. I thought, yeah, why not? I'm in full control of this game now. Let's just go for it. And it is just brilliantly struck by Andre Schola. And you're going to see, this is the best part about it. My bench nods in approval. They're like, mm-hmm, yep, yep, that was uh, that was quality, Andre. So there it is, Shola doing his celebration, getting all the slow mo, getting all the replays. It was worth it. Uh, but he tries to go straight forward yet again, which I thought was a bit bizarre because we're gonna just take it away every time and. I will say this now, um, no team, like, there's no player I am happier to include in any of my teams than Philip Lama's CDM. He is just the absolute best CDM option in the game. I saw a co comment that said, Japes will, he doesn't win those those long balls that you talked about contesting, um, you know, on goal kicks and stuff like that. And yeah, that's true. That's his only con for me. His finishing maybe isn't that great, but that's not what he's in the team for. Um, he just pops up in the absolute best spots and it takes the ball away, intercepts passes. He chases players down. He's just phenomenal. So you could pick him up now. Of course, his team of the year is out, so he's not going to be going that much cheaper. People will be spending some coins. You can see a fantastic comeback. Only allowed two shots in the second half of that one. That means a free pack after winning the cup. So that's where we're going to come to a close in this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy yet another cup conquering uh, team of the year edition of Path to Power. Only good thing in that pack, Arsene Wenger. Uh, and that's just me appreciating him as a manager and appreciating having having another BPL option in the club. So thank you all very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, a like a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.